Mommy, do you have to go to Miami? I really do. The party starts now! Oh, that was bad. Yeah, we're in an airport. No. Go, go, get out of here. I think Rough Night is about a group of friends who have drifted and they come back together and have a really wild time. They've kind of chilled out as adults, but they wild out. They get wacky. Oh, yeah. And in doing so, an accident happens that brings them closer together. Because you know there's a saying, good friends bail you out of jail, best friends are in jail with you. Mm, and so that's kind of, I think, a good moniker for this movie. To get active. Yeah, I'm here and I'm ready to attack. It's this weekend's all about us, just like old times. What's next? Just went really fast. Oh. How are you alive right now? I don't know. <laughs> it's the greatest thing ever. She was mm. so mellow and so appre like appreciative of everybody, mm -hmm. always checking on everyone. Um, and I think it's so important to have a woman at the helm of a project like this because, you know, it is a, a movie about women, but. She was so, like, I've never worked with someone like, like Lucia. She was so respectful and like, giving us more lines and fun, but just so attentive. It was, it was such really, a collaborative yeah, process. It, yeah, it really was. It That's was so, what I yeah. found was, was wonderful, is Paul and Lucia were just open to the dialogue, yeah. with, especially with the Australian stuff, the, the accent. It was like, I'm, I'm dead in this movie, buddy. Like, <laughs> yeah. do you, like, hey, how would she say this? What would she, you know? So we that was. We had a dialect coach on site. It was pretty good. Yeah. You know, we had both. They doubled down. Yeah. And they um, kept. The, they would throw lines to you, and it was just a really like super collaborative experience. It was so fun. And but. Lucia, I think also, it, it's because it is a movie about female friendships. She really, yeah. not only brought a perspective that only a woman could, but she, I think, created an atmosphere that made everybody get close really fast. Like, oh, yeah. It was such a chill and fun set. We really, we all became f friends pretty fast. We had wine and cheese after work. Like, yeah. a it was lot like of camp. Time. It was like we it just was, hung yeah. out. It was, it was like a very like, nice camp. Yeah. It was really, yeah. yeah. I mean, gosh, it was, she was. She's not, she's not that easy. It took me two weeks before she said, I don't like seeing you dead, Ryan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it took two weeks. Yeah, so yeah. I yeah. think I had to clean up, what, a few dinners or something like that at the back of the hotel. And then she's like, <laughs> He's a nice guy. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm basically trying to be her new agent because she's someone <laughs> who could, she should be in the movie. She's mm. that funny, that witty, that beautiful. And she just has a, like an overall perspective of film is so, it's just incredible. So that's, yeah, I think it's super important that she was directing. And so. it's, it's, uh, it's crazy that it's been 20 years since mm -hmm. a woman has directed a studio comedy and already yeah. a studio comedy because I think, well, truthfully, whether it's comedy or drama, there is a dearth of female storytellers. Yeah. Um, but weirdly, it does still feel like a boys club, especially in comedy. Oh, yeah. Um, it's really, it's something I don't really understand why, that both men and women are, are kind of, I think, um, have a very high standard when it comes to comedy, and mm. it's really been a boys club for so long. And yet, I don't know, I find women to be as funny, if not funnier, than men. Some of I my favorite comedians funnier. are women. Me too. So, uh, you know, I think, uh, Hopefully that statistic changes and it doesn't take 20 more years. Run, run, get you in I know that things are crazy right now, but you're gonna have a lot of material for my wedding speeches. I was flying back from LA to come and start shooting and I was reading through the script, laughing, 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 and then I get to the a point where Alice opens up and I'm like, oh, I'm crying, yeah. literally crying on the plane. Yeah. Um, so I just found that it was just such a beautiful ride, not just a, not just a, you know, it was, it was just a fun ride. Yeah. yeah, I think that's the thing people are most surprised by, that there's a lot of heart in the movie, because yeah. it is about friendship and about growing apart and what that means when you grow up and mm -hmm. um, who your best friends are. So I think that's something that it was really important to ground the movie. And these women, they're not only so funny, but they're so talented mm -hmm. dramatically a yeah. as actors. Um, I was really um, so constantly impressed by everybody. I mean, you know, you have Kate McKinnon and Jillian Bell and all these amazing yeah. comedians, and yet the heart and vulnerability they show in the movie is really pretty incredible. I had this nightmare where we had all killed a guy. That is no, a reality. What? No! Oh my God, jet lag is insane, you guys. It's no joke, no joke.